Good morning and welcome to the Essex coast and I'm here at Walton on the Nays. In fact that over there is Nays Tower and that dates to 1720 and given a grade 2 star listing. It's actually used as a navigational tower and it looks very similar to one of the lighthouses that I've seen over in Harwich but I'm right on the cliff top here. Look all this erosion they've had quite a few meters eroded here in the last few months. But I'm here to do walk number three from the Ordnance Survey of Standing Circular Walks for Essex, which is about a three and a half mile circular route around the Nays. And it's a little peninsula surrounded by sea and estuary on all sides. And it's gonna be full of wildlife. Now around this peninsula of the Nays, there are so many World War II remains like this amazingly preserved pillbox. I've seen quite a few that have actually fallen over the cliff edge as well. So clearly they needed to protect this area in World War II. So I'm right up on the sea wall now and it's actually a tarmac path here which I wasn't expecting. Um, the tide is right out which means there's plenty of wildlife all along the estuary. I've seen barnacle geese, I've heard curlew, I'm pretty sure I saw an oyster catcher which is really nice. On the uh, far side over here, now behind these bushes, let me just get a little bit further ahead. I can actually see over here the port of Harwich which is the one with the fewer massive cranes and then next to that is Felixstowe. They're actually opposite sides of the Stour Estuary but they look like they're right next to each other from this perspective and this path is going to lead me all the way round the Nays Peninsula until I arrive back at Walton. So I'm just walking along the northern edge of the Nays and on my right there are thousands of acres of internationally important tidal salt marsh which is home to literally thousands and thousands of birds, mainly waders. I can hear and see so many red shank flying up and down and I say the tide is out at the moment so there's plenty of birds feeding on the mudflats just here. It's quite incredible how close you can get to the wildlife here. You can see over here there's lots of tiny little birds just along the edge of the water and I think 
they're either Dunlin or not, I can never really tell the difference between the two, but we can see about four or five ringed plovers in there, which are really uncommon and wonderful to see. So I'm almost back at Walton on the Nays now. In fact, it's only a few hundred meters in front of me. But I wanted to point out that in this field alongside, there is literally hundreds, if not thousands of Brent geese. And these are mainly winter visitors that come over from colder climates like Scandinavia and Greenland. So there's not much left to say except thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit like hit subscribe and ring the bell to keep up to date with any future uploads